to my channel. It's Elise Rose, aka Salsa Rosa, aka Mama Biscuit. Duh. Now, in this video, I will be doing 50 facts about me. Now, these are all 50 completely true, totally me. As always, go get your snacks, your beverages, whatever it is that you like to munch on or eat or sip on whatever, go get that right now so we can enjoy this video a little better because if it's just, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like food makes everything more better and makes it more fun. It just makes everything worse, worth it, right? No, is it just me? Okay. So let's whip out the book really quick, which is right here, and let's do it. 50 Facts About Celise Rose starts now. So fact one, I'm 22 years old. I'm sorry, I'm 22 years young. <laughs> Number two, my facts are all right here, by the way. I am a Scorpio, and um, Scorpios are pretty... I don't know if I'm crazy because I'm a Scorpio or crazy because I'm a Hispanic or all the above, but uh, yeah, fact number two, I am a Scorpio. Fact number three, I am obsessed with any kind of spicy food, any kind of spicy chips. If it's spicy, I'm with it. It's mine. Let me have it, please. Fact number four, I love, love, love chasing sunrises and sunsets. Those are my absolute favorite things in the world, in my life, in everything. Every single time I see a sunrise or a sunset, I feel like everything's just gonna be okay. Everything is just calm. I feel like it shows you the real beauty of life that we forget because we get so caught up in working and doing whatever that we do. But whenever I'm around sunrises or sunsets, I just feel like everything is okay. And I know it sounds so fucking cliche, but I mean, it's true. I just love them insane, an, an insane amount. Fact number five, church is my absolute passion. I live to go to church. I will give my life for God the way he did for us. It's just, it's just, it's my passion. It's, I can't even explain it, but man. God is just so good. That, that's it. He's just so good. And by the way, if you see me sweating, um, it's literally, I have one, two, three, four, five, five light bulbs. No, five, six, seven around me. And it's really, really, really hot. What fact am I on again? Fact number six. Cancun and New York are my all-time favorite places ever. I have been to Cancun, I think, five, six times. I've been to New York, what, two, three times? I don't remember. But Cancun and New York are my absolute favorite. And if anybody ever asks me, where do I go on vacation? Where do you want to go? I'm going to give you the same two answers until the day I die. Cancun and New York, the Fact number seven, I hold grudges. And I really, really, really try not to because I don't like that. And at the end of the day, it's like it makes you unhappy as well. But fact number seven is I can really hold a grudge for as long as a week to 10 plus years. And I mean, it is what it is. But I mean, I'll keep you in my prayers. Don't trip. Fact number eight, I absolutely hate, hate, hate waiting in lines, whether it's at amusement parks, whether it's at restaurants, doesn't matter where it is. I hate hate waiting in lines. I don't care if it's one person ahead of me or 17. That is not my thing. Fact number nine. Oh, something in my eyeball. Ugh. I absolutely hate the heat sometimes. Like right now, I hate the heat. Now, don't get me wrong. I love summer. I love summer vibes and all that good stuff. But as far as hanging out outside in the summer, it's not gonna happen for more than a couple hours. Like if you're trying to hang out and go to an amusement park or somewhere outside or hiking, I am not the one because heat makes me so grumpy after a while. I'll just, it, it's not a, it's not a good side that. And if I don't have food in my system, I'm very, 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 very grumpy. Fact number 10, I'd rather be alone because I'm safe. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people who agree with me, a lot of people who don't agree with me. Frankly, it doesn't really fucking matter, but I love to be, I'd rather, I'd much rather be alone because I have, I know it sounds so dumb and so cheesy, but I have been through just way too much to really, I, I don't know how to explain it, but let's just say I'd rather be alone. I'd rather, as much as I would want to invest my time into certain people, and sometimes I'm like, okay, we're almost there, like you got it. No, I'm cool alone. Thank you, exit Deli Lago, goodbye. Fact number 11, I constantly put myself last. And by this, I don't mean like I come last when it comes to friendships and relationships, no. When it comes to family, literally always, always, always put myself and my needs and my wants last because I wanna make sure that my family is okay in every aspect. And once I know that they're beyond okay and they're amazing, then I'll think about me. Then I'll think about my feelings. Then I'll put myself second. Once I know that they're totally okay, then I come. It's always going to be like that. It's always been like that. And it will forever remain that way. And I'm so unapologetic. Right? Because obviously my family and God come first before anybody and anything, including myself and my own feelings. Fact number 12. I literally crave the most simplest things in life, which I don't crave much, but 
somebody asking me, hey, how's your day? How are you today? How do you feel today? Hey, by the way, I'm proud of you. Or just the simple, simple things is what I've always craved my whole life since I was a little girl until this day. It's like the littlest acts could warm my heart up in ways that I wouldn't even know that it heats up and like, damn. Act number 13, I absolutely 100% hate driving. The only time I ever like driving if it's at 3 in the morning when it's dark and nobody's out but me and I know there's no traffic, no cars, no nothing. But other than that, I absolutely hate driving. So whether I'm with friends or I'm with a bay or whatever it is, I'm always going to ask you to drive and if not, we can totally take an Uber. I ain't tripping but I'm still not going to drive. I suck at driving. Ask any of my friends. They know. Okay, they know. Act number 14. I absolutely love, love, love music but my all-time favorite music is EDM hip-hop and rap those three oh my god play that around me and I will love you forever and a day fact number 15 I push people away because I am so scared of getting hurt I am so scared of feeling any type of pain I am so scared of ever putting my heart through more bullshit than what it has already been through I am so protective over myself and my heart so yeah I push people away all the time. Fact number 16, I am seriously obsessed with working. I love, love, love to work. I love to edit. I love to make new content. I love to come up with ideas. I love to have like 800 different journals, writing down different ideas for all these different platforms. I love to work and that is always, always on my mind whether I'm out with, my, uh, with a friend, whether I'm here, whether I'm there. I am always working even when I'm not working if that makes sense. Fact number 17, I keep my circle small as fuck. So it's like, yeah, I have a lot of acquaintances, a uh, lot. But as far as friends, I make sure my circle is as small as my bra size because I don't trust nobody and I will remain that way until the day that I die. Fact number 18, I hate cardio. Fact number 19, I am obsessed with red hair. I've had red hair for over six, pretty much seven years. I like red hair and other people. I'm just obsessed with the color red. And when it comes to people's hair, it's just, Oh my god. Fact number 20, I love to have really, really, really deep and meaningful conversations with people. Like, I don't have time for that. What are you doing? How are you doing? What are you doing later? Nah, I don't know. I like that. So, what do you think about at 3 a.m.? How was your fucking childhood? Things that people don't normally ask one another, I love those conversations and that will always get a text back. If not, <laughs> Fact number 21, I will always choose work before anybody and everything besides God and my family, yes. But when it comes to friends and relationships or if I'm dating or whatever, or a party or an event, I don't care who's there, I don't care what the big fuss is about, I will always, always, always put my work before anything, any event because it's just what I love to do. I love what I do, I do what I love and it will always come first. Like I much rather edit, I much rather work and be stressed then sit there and pretty much at somebody else's event and just be like, no. Thanks, I'll stay home, bye. Act number 22, music keeps me 100% sane, which I'm pretty sure it keeps most of this world sane. But if it wasn't for music, I would drive myself insane. <laughs> ah, man. Fact number 23, is it? Yeah, my journal is the saddest shit you would ever read in your life. And I'm not just saying that to be dramatic, but if somebody ever found my journal, which I hide very, 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 very good, it would probably be the saddest thing you would ever read in your life. Fact number 24, I absolutely hate drinking water unless it's freaking ice cold, cold, crushed ice, or with cubed ice. I do not like room temperature water. I don't like when the water is from cold and it's about to get like warm. It has to be cold and if it's not cold, it literally makes me nauseous. I don't know why it's like that, but it makes me sick. Fact number 25, I absolutely hate alcohol. I have only drank two to three times in my life, very little amounts, and I would never probably drink again in my life. And if I do, it's probably like a tiny little sip, but I don't like the smell, I don't like the taste. I don't like anything about alcohol, and that's just me. And I'm also never the, the DD, meaning you know the, de the designated driver, because I don't like to drive. So we all go Uber. No, but I just don't like to drink. It's not my thing. It has never been my thing and it will never be my thing. So whether you like it or not, it's just what we like, what we don't like, right? Right. Fact number 26, dancing literally keeps me alive. It keeps me going. It keeps my heart pumping. Dancing has been my passion since I was three to four years old and I'm 22 and it has never been stronger than ever. So dancing is what I pretty much live for. Fact number 27, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love, I love hard. 
and that is exactly why I don't love because it, I mean is it just me anybody let me know if down in the comments if you agree but do you feel like ever feel like your love is just too pure and too kind and just too strong and too there that people would not appreciate it and people haven't appreciated it for that's why you feel that way now that's how I feel I love hard and that's exactly why I do not love because I just feel like nobody would appreciate it. I mean, yeah, people try all the time. They try to holla and whatnot, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm trying to focus on my career, on God, on my family, my supporters. So when it comes to love relationships, you can get me the fuck up out of there. Nope. Fact number 28. I hate having my hair down. Hello. Even though I do it all, not all the time, but when I do it, just know that I literally hate every second of it, but I absolutely hate having my hair down. I hate it. Fact number 29. I absolutely love the smell of Fabuloso. It's like pine salt, but it's not but the purple one oh my it smells like happiness happiness in, in a in a container dear god fact number 30 i am so scared to fall in love again and i'll just leave it at that i am so freaking scared and that's why i run so when i hear love <laughs> bye. but yet fact number 31 i am also in love with the thought of love. I am in love with love. And the thought of love is just so beautiful and so pure to me because love conquers all, but I'm still so scared of it. So even though it kind of sucks at times because I push everybody away, like I said, I'd much rather be alone because I can protect myself. So until further notice, yeah, don't love, no, bye. Nope, <laughs> sorry, I, I <laughs> Number 32, I am a very, very observant person. So whether I'm like this very quiet in the corner or I'm being super talkative or I'm dancing or I'm staying still or whatever it is, I am literally observing everybody at all times, what you're saying, how you're acting, because I am just so observant and I like to know what's going on at all times. And yeah, I'm always very aware, even though I may be quiet about it, I may talk about it, I may, you know, let you know, I see everything. Fact number 33, my absolute favorite colors are white, black, and red since I was probably in seventh grade to this day. Those three are my damn colors, excuse me. Fact number 34, I am super impatient. That's why I hate lines. I hate, I don't care if I'm waiting for a Krispy Kreme donut or I'm in line for an amusement park or I'm waiting for a certain email or whatever it is. I am very, very impatient and I try to make shit happen all the time on my own time even though some things I can't control and I've accepted that I'm very very impatient. Fact number 35 my mother and my sister are the apple of my eye they're my everyday motivation even though they don't know this at all but I mean if they watch this hey <laughs> but my mother and my sister are my everyday motivation so if I ever 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 for one second lose sight of what's really important and I get sidetracked to think about wait taking care of them is what you do best so get the fuck up and do what you have to do anytime I think of these two women I immediately get up and do what I have to do because I know that I'm the protector of in this bitch I'm, I got I got their backs at all times no matter what it is like I got y'all point blank period fact number 36 love love either broken people or hurt people or damaged people because the ones who have been hurt the most have the most deepest stories ever and the craziest past, but the most beautifulest damaged heart with the most purest mind and best intentions. So yeah, broken people and damaged people are my absolute favorite. Like, come here, let me love you, let me hug you, let me talk to you till three in the morning. Let's talk about life. I got you. Like, y'all my, you guys are my favorite kinds of people. Absolutely. Number 37, I actually really, really, really like braces. I didn't like them on myself. I look like freaking, I look like a pan. Uh, on other people, I since I was little till this day, I'm not even kidding. I've always thought braces are the cutest thing ever. You, you, y'all just adorable. I don't, I don't really care. People think I'm crazy for saying that. Other people rarely understand, but braces are just the cutest thing ever. Like, you better boo. Number 38, I absolutely love hearing about people's past and people's stories. That goes back to, I love deep conversations. Like, I just, I feel like if you guys haven't obviously realized by now, which I'm sure you have, everybody that you ever meet in your life, whether you talk to them or not, whether you pass them on the street or whether you're like this with them, everybody in the world has their past, has their story, has their pain, has their scars, and I love hearing about that. When people actually trust me with all that, 
I love hearing about it and it's just the most beautiful thing ever and it's just crazy how people are so strong to deal with certain things they deal with and they're still here and that's just like y'all have my utmost respect bro like even I got my own past and the fact that I'm still here it, it still blows my mind it blows my mind because I was a lost cause but I'm here with the help of God and yeah he's so good he is so good <laughs> fact number 39 I absolutely hate I hate my hair no I'm just kidding I hate my hair right now fact number 39 I hate the smell of new cars I don't know why but it makes me fucking nauseous. I don't like it at all. I just want to puke. Can you put some Fabuloso up in this bitch, please? Number 40. Haters or negative people or people who talk behind like anybody's back don't affect me whatsoever. Even though they think that they do, it doesn't affect me at all. Because my prayer is so strong for them and for people who actually love me and care about me. And I'm so close to God that I pray for them all the time that I have no sense of hate towards them. I'm just like, you hate me or not, whether you love me or not, I'm praying for you. Whether that pisses you off or not, I'm going to pray for you always. So haters do not affect me at all. So keep doing what you're doing, boo. I'll be praying for you. Fact number 41, I am obsessed with tattoos and piercings. I mean, I have, I think I have a lot of tattoos. Maybe I'm, maybe I don't, but I think I do. But I love people who have hella tattoos and hella piercings. I just think it's... The most beautiful art I have ever seen. Like, that is your way of art. That is your way of expressing yourself and your story and how you feel that you can't really explain to words. So I just think all of that is just absolutely beautiful to me. Fun fact, I've had my eyebrow pierced three to four times, my nose pierced twice, I've had my lip pierced once, I've had two dermals right here, I've had one dermal here, two dermals here, my belly button pierced four to seven times, and now the only, my ears pierced, oh, and now the only person that I have is my ears and my belly button, but yeah, I am literally obsessed with piercing the tattoos. They're just so fucking dope to me. I think that was 40. Yeah, that was 41. I'm tripping, bro. Uh, uh. Number 42. I ab No, stop saying absolutely. You keep saying absolutely. You're absolutely. Your hair is absolutely stuck to the backdrop. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Fact number 42. I love, love, love people who are not afraid to be themselves, who know that they're different or weird, who know that they get stared at, who know that people are just like, and they don't give two fucks. I. I am obsessed with people like that. Like, you guys are my inspiration. I don't even have an inspiration, but that right there is like, I mean, I don't care if people think about me either. I really, 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 really don't. Like, I've always, I'm always gonna do me regardless, but seeing that in other people, seeing that beauty and that, that attitude that they just don't care and they're gonna remain being themselves, it's probably the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in anybody just saying number 43 I am super hard on myself meaning I could do the best thing ever I could accomplish the craziest thing ever and I'll, and I'll think to myself I'll be like calm down you're all right now do it again times 50 I'm I hardly ever 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 tell myself hey I'm proud of you you know good job you know because you have to motivate yourself too but I rarely do that. I'm very hard on myself. Like I make sure it's never enough for me. I never get complacent or comfortable in my work. Because once you get complacent and comfortable in what you're working with, it becomes a routine. So I make sure it's always different. The fact is I'm very, very hard on myself. So whenever I, people actually tell me whether it's family or friends or somebody that I'm dating or even my beautiful supporters, they go, hey, out of nowhere, they go, hey, I'm, you know, I'm really, really proud of you for all that you're doing and just good job. I'm just like, oh my God. Like it literally, I know it sounds so stupid and I don't cry, I sweat. Just kidding. But it literally almost makes me tear up sometimes because it's just like, I don't hear that a lot. And so the fact that people actually see that in me and that I work really hard and they, they're proud of me, it, there is no better feeling, bro. Like it is amazing. Gotta put my sleeves up because it's really, really hard to pin this boots. Back number 44, I am obsessed with moisturizing my face. Um, I'll moisturize it in the morning in the middle of the day, and the evening, at night, before the gym, which I don't even go to the gym that much anymore, but whatever. I moisturize it all the time. Unless I'm wearing makeup like I am right now, I moisturize it like crazy, then I'll put it on, but I am obsessed with moisturizing my face. I don't know why, but it just feels so good. It feels amazing. I feel like a new woman every time I moisturize and cleanse my pores. Like, oh my God, is this what love feels like? I would not. <laughs> Bye. I got a phone call, hold on. Dude, my ass is sweating. It's so hot. How are you gonna call me? 
No. You called? Yeah, I was going to ask you, is there a specific brand of, like, the men's razors that you wanted, or does it matter? Um... No, it don't matter. Just make sure you get like five to seven. We're gonna get you one razor, but like not the disposable one, and then just a bunch of blades. No, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm too lazy to put the blades back on. So just oh, like. Oh, she doesn't like this. So like the disposable one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sounds good. All right, are you almost done? Guys, I learned my lesson this time. I kept my phone on silent. Normally it's always on loud, so it's been blowing up down here. But uh, my sister called, so that's that's a call I have to call back and not ignore like a friend or something. But whatever. Act number 45. It is very, very, very rare for me to give somebody a second chance. I mean, I used to all the time. I It's just, I don't know why. But now, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a relationship, whether we're dating, no matter what, if you fuck up once, you've already shown me your true colors. And mistakes are different from choices. So if you have already made that choice once to act like like a dumbass and try to fuck me over or hurt me, know that you're going to stay in the past and you will forever remain there. So if we don't talk, that's why. And we ain't going to talk again. So act right and we're going to be good. If you don't act right, then we ain't going to be good. And that's just, it is what it is. I mean, I'm human. I don't tolerate bullshit and neither should you. So bye. number 46 whenever I am dating somebody or I am trying to invest my time to somebody which is very very rare because I'm very picky but whenever that time does come the first thing that I look at is their personality I, frankly I don't care about your looks I mean obviously we have to be attracted to each other and when I, I get that but whatever because you could be hella pretty on the outside hella good looking on the outside but as far as the inside you could be rotten and ugly like the banana that's downstairs in my kitchen has been sitting there for about seven years but uh <laughs> I always look at personality first and um if you have a pop in one and you are just so well all around and your personality is just a one then how you doing <laughs> but i'm not i'm not dating i'm not dating right now leave me alone don't even slide in my dms don't even text me okay bye <laughs> fact number 47 since i was a little girl up until this day i have never ever ever been afraid to speak my mind it's like if i have a strong belief in something and if the whole world does not believe in what i believe in and i have to stand alone Guess who's going to be standing alone? Me, because I have never been afraid to. So me standing alone or with a huge crowd who believes in what I believe in, it's cool because at the end of the day, I'm fighting for something that I believe in and something that means a lot to me. So yeah, whether I stand alone with the crowd, I'm always going to speak my mind and always going to stand to what I believe in. Whether I get hate or not, I don't give a fuck. I'm always going to remain true to myself and my beliefs. Fact number 48 that everybody in the world knows about me. Literally everybody that has ever met me or has not met me or has heard about me. Everybody knows fact number 48. I absolutely, I say absolutely a lot. Okay, time to buy a dictionary and expand my vocabulary, whatever. I hate sleeping. And I know people are like, half people are like, oh my god, how? Like, I love sleeping. I mean, I wish I did too, but I, I literally hate sleeping. I feel like I'm wasting time. That's how bad I like to work and how I, I'm very hard on myself. That makes sense. That even when I'm sleeping, I'm like, you gonna sleep an hour tonight. You gonna get up. You, are, you gonna sleep 35 minutes today because you have to work. Like, I have trained myself. That makes sense. That now... I hate sleeping. So when it's time to go to bed, I'm just like, <laughs> do I have to? I don't like it. I don't like it. And I never will. So I'm that one person that um, if you're up at 3 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 7 p.m., whatever time it is, I'm awake. I'm here. You want to talk? I'm here, boo. Like, what's good? What's good with you? What's popping? Like, I'm here. Act number 49, my phone is always on loud. And you guys could tell by all of my YouTube videos where my phone is always being blown up by people. But today I turned, I turned it low. I turned it low. I really, really, really did. But my phone is always on loud, unless I'm in church or whatever. But other than that, whether I'm at the gym, which is never, whether I'm sleeping, whether I'm working, whether I'm doing this, that, or I'm in a meeting, my phone is always on loud because I just never know if I can get a business call, or I can get a call from a family member, or even a friend that needs me. Like, my phone is always on loud, so if I don't answer your call, I must be... Fuck. We must not be cool because I always answer my damn phone. My phone is always on loud. Like, no. See? See? I'm getting a call right now. See? See? Put it on silent. Hello? No, no, no. You're good. How are you? The actual parking brake. Yeah. Oh, my God. We could not figure it out. Act number 50. The last one. Drum roll, please. 
beauty is that I am always smiling whether I'm having the best day ever the worst day ever I am literally always smiling nothing in the world could make me not smile like, like I said like you would never know if I'm having a bad day you wouldn't know you wouldn't know if I'm having a really good day the fact is I'm always smiling and I don't know how I do that I've always been since I was little always which is so crazy but I have always been like that since I was little but yeah, I'm always smiling, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video and put a thumbs up on this video only if you guys want to see another more. I'm sorry, well, that didn't make sense. If you guys want to see another 50 facts about me, but if not, it's okay. I mean, I ain't going to take it personal. Am I? I'm just kidding. <laughs> In the comments down below, drop a bunch of your ideas of what you guys want me to do, whether it's challenges, talks about life, whether it's certain makeup, whatever it is, let me know down below and we will get to it. And also, do not forget to what? Subscribe like right now. Like just do it. I'm watching. We watch like just do it, do it, do it, do it. My garage is opening. Someone's home. <laughs> and as always, as always, Mama Biscuit lo loves you biscuits. Bye guys.